the biblical truth of our hymn today, O come, all ye faithful. Now, I'm going to say this, you know, not many people are, are looking at these or this course of study, and we're doing it because we claim the King James Bible. We claim to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We claim by blood. And yet, some of these hymns that are sung in Baptist churches, Bible-believing churches, are wrong. We have seen a couple hymns that one man that, 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 that writes it, we won't sing his, his hymn. Because when you check the scriptures, it's wrong. So we're a King James only church. And the hymns you may be singing may not be King James. And if you listen to that, you listen to it. But this is why we're doing it. The biblical truth of our hymns. Many are wrong. So as we do, O come, O ye faithful, there's some uh, other language here, and forgive me, I'm not good in another language, but it's an English hymnist who is sometimes credited with writing and composing the hymn, S. T. R. Fidelius, which was later translated to O come, O ye faithful. Even though the actual authorship of the hymn remains uncertain. As a Catholic layman, you got that Catholic? You got that Baptist? Catholic. He lived with exiled English Catholics in France, where he taught music and worked on church music for private use. Church music, Catholic layman, English Catholic. The English translation of O Come, O Ye Faithful by the English Catholic priest Frederick Oakley, written in 1841. The original text consists of four Latin, you know what Latin language is? Church. Why don't you? Don't you know what church has their mass in Latin? Verses. It was, yeah, excuse me, it was with these that the hymn was originally published. The hymn was being interpreted as a Jacobite, Jacobite birth. Old D. Bonnie Prince Charles. Professor Bennett Zahn Head of Music at Durham University has interpreted this way, claiming that the secret political code was de decipherable by the faithful, the Jacobites, with Bethlehem, a common Jacobite cipher for England, and Regim Anglorum, a pun on Anglorum, angels and Angerum, English. So, R-E-G-E-M, A-N-G-E-L-O-R-U-M, A-N-G-E-L-O-R-U-M again. Wade made, excuse me, Wade had fled to France after the Jacobite rising of 1745 was crushed. From the 1740s to the 1770s, the earliest form of the carol commonly appeared in English Roman Catholic liturgical books. Close to prayers for the exiled old pretender. In the books by Wade, it was often decorated with Jacobite laurel imagery, as were other liturgical texts with coded Jacobite meanings, and J-A-C-O-B-I-T-E. In performance verses are often omitted. And you do this thing publicly. Either because the hymn is too long in its entirely, or because the words are unsuitable for the day on which they are sung. I've got six verses here. For example, the eighth 
anomalous verse, I don't have the A, is only sung on Epiphany, E-P-I-P-H-A-N-Y, which has nothing to do with the Bible and has nothing to do with a Bible church, if at all. While the last verse of the original is normally reserved for Christmas Midnight Mass. Do you sing, O come, O ye faithful, in the Bible Baptist Church? Does your pastor, your preacher, allow the Mass to happen in your Bible-believing church? Mass at dawn or mass during the day? Mass, 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 pain, no. I don't believe I said that. In 1992, the instrumental version is played by Sympathy Orchestra inside Carnegie Hall in the film Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. It also appears in the 1989 film National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Whoa, great. 2006, Twisted Sister recorded on the album A Twisted Christmas, arranged in the same style as their 1984 song, We're Not Gonna Take It. Great, great thing. League singer Dean Snyder has said that the song inspired him to write that hit song. A Catholic mass him for Twisted Sister. You do know what they call their nuns, right? <laughs> and being lost in New York. 2011, Myra, Myra, I don't care, Carey, C-A-R-E-Y, recorded a version, the second single from the album Merry Christmas to You. 2011, Hillsong, oh, you gotta watch out for Hillsong. Worship released a version titled, Oh Come, Let Us Adore Him, with added choruses. Released on E.P. Born is the King, and the album, We Have a Savior. Come, O ye faithful, rules out worldly and unsaved. But as a Catholic hymn, Catholic, faithful would be Catholics. Why go to Bethlehem? When I can open up my Bible and I can, I can pray to the Lord right here and now. I don't have to go to a particular place. I don't have to go to the Holy Land. I can have the Lord come right here in my living room, in my bedroom. What would you what would that do for my soul? John 4 21, Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me that the hour cometh, we shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. He's not the king of angels. He's the king of a nation of Israel, the Jews. The children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, let's look at the words. O come, all ye faithful. I'm faithful. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm saved by the blood. Joyful and triumphant. I am joyful and triumphant. If I were to die, I'd be absent from this body and present with the Lord. If the rapture would happen, I'm going. I'm out of here. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Why? What's that Bethlehem for me? I always preach going back to Bethel. But I don't mean literally go back to Bethel. Like Jacob went back where he was, where he met God. My Bethel, I still can go in my Bethel. 773 Broad Street, Waterford, Connecticut. Though one day, maybe that place will be gone. Maybe that within my time, maybe I won't be able to go there. But I go back where the Lord met me. Come and behold him. Capital H. 
Born of the king of the angels. Or he says something about that. Won't look at the chorus yet. So, he's not king of the angels. He's God over the angels. He's the creator of the angels. God, uh, God of God, light from light, eternal. Lo, he abhors not the virgin womb. Very God, begotten, not created. Okay, that's better than the Jehovah Witnesses. God of God, he's God. I guess you won't find a Jehovah Witness singing, O come, O ye faithful. A lot of these hymns they can't sing. Because it's not the Jesus they believe in. You got to have Mary, don't you? The womb. The virgin's womb. The capital V of virgin's womb. Why? Because Mary's a goddess to Catholics. You know, if Jesus is mad at you... You can get to his mother, according to the Catholic. Abhor is a scorn, hate not. What a stupid verse. <laughs> can I say stupid? Check the internet, go, Google search. I'm not the only one. People have written about that verse. <laughs> True begotten. And he's truly not a created God. He's the creator. Give him that much. By the way, Pope Paul, whatever his number was, the last Pope Paul, creator God, that Pope was said to, to say, Genesis is a myth. I guess he can't sing, Oh, come on, people. Child. For us sinners. Pour in the uh, pour, pour and in the manger, we would embrace thee with love and awe. Wait a minute, no, I'm, 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 forgive me, I'm getting messed up here. Low starlit chieftains, magi. You know I'm going to say something about that. Christ adoring. Offer him frankincense and gold and myrrh. We too, the Christ child, bring our hearts oblations. Chieftain, the chief of a clan or a tribe. I'm not no particular tribe. So, O come to Bethlehem, here are some people bringing frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Shall we open our Bible? Shall we get the story straight? Shall we not sing perverted hymns in the church? You're in a Bible-believing church and you sing this hymn. You guys are on the wrong. Matthew. 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 And we're not going to read the whole time. But Matthew. Word 2 verse 1. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men, not Magi. Bible says wise men. I think the Holy Spirit knows how to spell Magi, and I hope the Holy Spirit knows how to spell wise. I don't think God would get anything wrong on a spelling test. From the east to Jerusalem. Now, I want you... As I read Matthew chapter 2, I want you to scream out so I can hear you. 
When I say three wise men, when you hear three wise men, I want you to scream. Okay. Saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? This one says king of angels. So already, if the Lord were give me a church, oh, come, all ye faithful, because it's Catholic, and because it goes against the scriptures, would not be sung. What did I call this? Well, I want to make sure I got the right title here. The Biblical Truth of Our Hymns. King of the Jews. You know, the Catholic Church has been trying to steal the gifts, the love, the care, the land of the Jews for themselves. For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. Now we'll read it. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled. Another king? Uh oh And all Jerusalem with him. I don't know why Jerusalem was upset. Here comes their Messiah. They weren't wanting him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, the Levitical men who ought to know the scriptures, who ought to know the times, the places, and the prophecies of the Messiah. He demanded them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for, the, for thus it is written by the prophets. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor, capital G. Remember, they, they capitalized the virgin, the V. Where was that? A governor that of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel, the king of Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, have we heard three yet? You scream three? Hello? Anything three? Wise men. Wise men. You call the wise men. Inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. So when did you see this star? And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently the young, young child. Not baby. Not baby. Young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. And when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child, not baby, not infant, was. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they were come into the house, not barnyard, not where the oxen crib were, not where there was a feeding trough, but where the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, look at the child first, and then Mary. Catholics get it reversed. They put Mary first, then the child. The child was Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him, not Mary. And when they had opened their treasures, have we got the three men yet? I didn't hear you scream or anything. They presented with him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. There were three gifts. We have no idea how many wise men they were. There were at least, at least two of them, because men, M-E-N, means plural, more than two. But we're not told. We're told three gifts. You gotta be careful of tradition. Tradition. Let, let's see if I can find this real quick. Oh. Where is it? Real quick. Tradition. Tradition. 
Two dishes. Let me check here real quick. Hold on. I apologize. It's tradition. Okay, tradition. Let's look at tradition. Tradition. Mark 7. Stay in Matthew. But Mark 7, 13. Making the word of God of none effect through your tradition. So when you say there are three wise men, you have changed the Bible. King James Bible believing church, shall we all sing, come all ye faithful, and change the Bible? And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed unto their own country another way. And jump down to verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, who oh know how many, was exceedingly wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem, okay, Bethlehem, and all the coasts thereof. From two years old and younger, I would think that would classify as young child. When the wise men come, Jesus is no longer. An infant. Oh, let, let's check something else. Else too. Luke. Luke. Let's go to Luke. Luke. Chapter. Is Luke chapter one? Maybe Matthew. Oh, Luke one twenty seven. Luke 1 20. To a virgin. Notice a small V. There's a big V in the hymn. A small V. A spouse to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name. Notice a small V. Let's see Matthew. Let's see Matthew. Uh, I don't know Matthew. Trying to see if Matthew has the virgin. I'm not sure. No. Oh yeah. Matthew 1 23. Behold a virgin. Small v. Small v. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Let's put the emphasis on the virgin, Mary. Gee, who would do that? Not a Bible believe in Baptist Church, would they? So, all right, verse four. Him for stands for whatever you want to call it. Child for us sinners. Okay. That child grew up to be about thirty-three and a half years old and died on that cross. Shed his blood on that cross. Thirty-three and a half years old. He did not die on that cross as a child. It wasn't his birth that saved my soul and washed away my sins. It was his death on the cross, approximately 33 and a half years old. Got to be careful. Poor in the manger. Okay, yep. Okay. We would embrace thee with love and awe. Say, sorry, what's wrong? What did they cry? What was the last words to Jesus, the multitude? Crucify him! Crucify him! You know what the Catholics would do with Jesus Christ? They'd crucify him! Rome! Because Jesus and his teachings and the apostles and the disciples of the Bible would go against the doctrine in the Catholic Church, oh, generation of vipers. You Pharisees, you scribes. Then he would blast the church. Call no man your father.
Come on, people. Let's wake up. I wouldn't embrace Jesus Christ with love and care because he suffered and died. I had believed on him in faith. I've got Roman Catholic family. And when I taught them the biblical Jesus, they did not hold on to him with love and care. They shot fire and brimstone and nails and staples at me in the Bible. I had the priest that I grew up with tell me to get out and never come back. They would hold and love their Jesus, but not the Jesus of the Bible. Remember, Paul says there's another Jesus. Uh, I'm losing my place here. Wait a we would embrace thee with love and all. Who would not love thee, Satan? Who would not love thee? Let's go to the Bible, John chapter 3. Who would not love thee? Let's go to John chapter 3. I'll tell you who would not love Jesus. Verse 19, 319. This is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Those would hate Jesus. Matthew chapter 7. Who would not love thee? They have not gone out in the streets and preached the true gospel. Matthew 7. Did you get the side of style? Like, yes, I am. Matthew 7, 13. Enter ye in the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go thereat. Those will be the ones that don't love Jesus. Not everyone that says unto me, verse 21, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in your mother's name? And in thy name have we not cast out devils? And in thy name done wondrous, wonderful works? Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Those are people that would not love Jesus Christ. But you see, the Catholic universal love that all people will go to heaven except those that go to the church. And if you're not Catholic, you will be married outside the gate. If you are not Catholic, you can't be buried in our graveyard. And if you're not buried in our graveyard, then, you know, to hell with you. This is mush. The Christian life. And it's got Roman Catholic mess in it. Doo-doo, caca. It stinks. It stinks of false Bible. It stinks of, of traditions. It stinks of religion. Sing. Choirs of angels. Angels are not singing now. They won't sing. There will be no singing until after. The song director is... Causing a great mess in the earth right now. He's causing sin. He, he's trying to get people hating God. He's trying to turn people away from God. He is going to God and saying, Do you see what that person is doing? Do you see what that person is doing? He's an enemy of God. And that song leader will be cast out of the heavens forever. In Revelation chapter 12, he'll come down in this earth very angry at his own people. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. The biblical truth of our hymns. Okay, sing in exhortation. Sing all the citizens of heaven above. We will one day. Glory to God, all glory in the highest. 
Mary gets more glory in the church than God and Jesus. There are 365 saint days on the calendar. You can look it up. For every day, there is a saint that marks that day. Go look up and see if you see a day for God. See if you see a day for Jesus Christ. Oh, December 25th. The day, now that wasn't when Jesus was born. You need to get Babylon, Mystery Babylon, and read about who was born. Tammuz. You need to read about that. When Satan Claus comes to visit. When Satan Claus is said, he you better watch out, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Satan Claus is coming. To tell. He knows when you've been bad. He knows when you've been good. No, that's God. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, behold the evil and the good. You're taking away Jesus. You're taking away God. You better believe I'm excited. You better believe I'm offended that the Bible has been attacked and it shows up in our hymnals. And I have sung this hymn in a Baptist church. Oh, God, oh, you be faithful. Joyful, yeah, 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 yeah. You realize many hymns that are, okay, everyone read 231, 528. There's some of them I don't even sing. I don't, I just, wow, I can't believe the words are there. You realize Amazing Grace that is sung by bagpipes and is done at great men's funerals does not mention God or Jesus Christ like the Constitution of America? Look how many hymns that we've been studying so far, and you can't even find the name of Jesus. Something wrong. All right, next stanza. Oh, the last one. Phew. Yea, Lord, we greet thee. Who is the we and who is greeting Jesus? Where is it in scripture that everybody came to where Jesus was? The only people that showed up that after Jesus was born was the shepherds. Not the wise men. They came when he was around two years old. Who is the we of the writer of this hymn that is sung in a particular church? Catholics. We Catholics come to greet you, Jesus. The baby Jesus. See, you can, you can control a baby, but you can't control the man, Jesus Christ. And then Jesus, as a baby, he gets upset and he gets angry. You can just hand him off to somebody else. When it comes to your soul, when it comes to your eternal destination, heaven or hell, you can't pass up Jesus Christ. You can't go through the back door. It's through the blood of Calvary. It's through the merit of Jesus Christ alone and nothing else. You know what I'd be afraid of? I've heard people, oh, if I was there, I would, you know, when they were crying, crucify him, crucify him, I would be there standing up for Jesus. You would be the 1%? I don't think so. I think if I were to be there that afternoon at Jesus Christ, stand before Pilate, I would probably say, crucify him, crucify him too. I don't know how many times I rejected Jesus Christ who I finally got on my knees on April 21st, 1987 and said, Lord Jesus, you're the one going to save my soul. Lord, we adore thee. This, the hymn is Catholic, so I guess I know who the we are. Born this happy morning. Happy morning. Let, let, let's read our Bibles again. Come on. Come on. Really? Oh, where is it? Um, is it Luke 2? We'll see how happy that morning. Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, verse 1. It came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus, the Roman government. Okay? Luke chapter 2, verse 1. 
happy morning. This wouldn't be happy with Americans. That all the world should be taxed. No taxation without representation. And the taxing was first the taxi was first made when Cyrenius was governor in Syria. Ooh. We got trouble with Syria right now today. We've got a worldwide, known worldwide, a Roman Empire taxing. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Do you know why Joseph and Mary are in Bethlehem? Because the entire world was taxed, and the law is you get back where your family lineage is. This. And you go to where your family is. And you get recorded for your taxes. Did you know what God had to do to get Jesus born in Bethlehem according to the scriptures we saw in Matthew? He had to get the whole world taxed. The only way I'm going to get Joseph and Mary down to Bethlehem right now is I got to call for a tax. That happy morning, everybody just so happy paying their taxes to the Roman government. The only one that would be happy about the taxation would be the Roman government getting the money. I guarantee there was grumbling and, and, oh man, anger. You see how much they charge my family? It's a rip off. I'm going to dump the tea in the ocean. Tea parties. I'm going to fight the government taxation. Jesus to thee. Be all the glory given. Amen. Glory to God. Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing. Well, that's John 1.1, 1, 1, the Word. Give him that much credit. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Sound like, one, you know... The same words 18,000 times. Christ the Lord. Why can't you say Jesus? Why is it so hard? There's no Jesus. Is there a Jesus? Let me go with it again. Christ. Let me make sure. Did I say Jesus? Yep, one Jesus. Stanza number six. Jesus to thee be all the glory. That one Jesus. I give him that much credit. I give him that much credit where over some of the hymns we've done, there was no Jesus. Couldn't we sing, Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come on, let us adore him. Jesus, the Lord. The Bible says, Every knee shall bow and every knee shall proclaim that Jesus is the Lord. That child grew up to be a man. We love him because he first loved us. Who would not love thee? Christ rejecting sinners. There was no singing in Luke chapter 2. Let's go to Luke chapter two. We're looking at scriptures here, Bible. And Luke chapter 2, verse 13. Suddenly there was with the angel... A multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, not singing, saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Then they show up to the shepherds. The shepherds and the wise men do not show up to Jesus at the same time. Your nativity scene is anti-scriptural. And Jesus Christ did, did not have a head that lit up. Oh, look, there's a light over there. It must be Jesus' head. Really? You believe that nonsense? It says that, that Herod wanted to kill every child two years on it. Wouldn't he look for the child that had the light bulb head? Oh, we got to find Mary and Joseph. Look for her at this big halo over their head in the middle of the night. 
Don't kill all the children. Kill the people that are glowing in the dark. The Bible says Rachel was weeping for all the children that were killed. All you have to do is look for the people that glowed. <laughs> all right, let's put a sack over your head. Oh, no glow. You can go. Next, put a sack over your head. Oh, you don't glow. Oh, this one glows. That's still me on. People think, come on. God gave you a brain. Use it. Tradition. Tradition will get you in hell and burn it forever. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I think you already know where I stand with this hymn. And yet, sadly, sadly, it is sung in congregations of Baptist churches. It's probably even sung in Baptist churches for a uh, choir. And when they sing, they don't read the words and they don't have an open Bible and they don't have a pastor that will stand up and take a charge against Satan, against religion and traditions and stand up for Jesus Christ. Now, if you were able to stomach all that, please help me get these videos out. You got Catholic friends and maybe I was a little rough and all that. But when you see three quarters of your Catholic family die, and probably without a shadow or doubt, they are in hell today. There's one Catholic relative I have. He's gone now. I don't know where he is. 50-50, he could be in hell or he could be in heaven. I don't know if he was saved. Another man I knew came out of that Catholic church, believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, got in the Bible, was always in the Bible. He's saved. He's gone home to be with the Lord. And I can tell you, and you probably know this if you've been in any public ministry, you can tell a Roman Catholic, you can tell a Catholic, when when you break open the Bible and you tell them about Jesus, I don't belong here. This is not the place. This is not what Jesus would do. I let my light shine. You mean like the baby Jesus with a 40-watt light bulb out of his head. I tell people now, and I don't know what religion they are, but that's not what Jesus would do. I tell them right now, you've never read your Bible. We had a woman one time, we just started our flea market ministry. Come over to us. What gives you the right to have that here? Excuse me, man. Are you a Catholic? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Oh, I know. You're just proving a point. The biblical truth of our hymns. That, that's why I'm doing all this. Lord willing. I don't know how far we're going to get. It does not seem to be an interest by the people. Until the Lord gives me another direction, something else. And i got plenty of other things. I, wanted to I did not want to go this far. But I was feeling sick this morning. And you know, I'm just saying, and you know, I didn't want to do it. I was going to get up and read some more, study some more, and whatever. Tomorrow, Lord willing, the Gospel of John study. Thursday, Lord willing, uh, so the public ministry that I'm doing. But the Lord said, you got a couple things to do. Sit down, find that hymnal, find that file, and do the next one. I didn't know what it was. I was telling you, hey, I don't know what the next one is. For so I look at my my Word document. I don't know how far I'm going to go. But I'm telling you what I and pray for me. I like to start a church. But I've come to the conclusion. I'm working right now with my daughter. And I thank my daughter for helping me. We're making a list of hymns that are right. Anyone that's not right, we don't have it in the list. We've already got, I told her, one man right now, he's not in the list. 
And the other day I was in church and I was looking at a couple hands and said, hey, that one sounds good. I'm going to take that list that we are making right now. And I'm going to find the music. I'm going to find how it is in the hymn book. And I'm going to make my own hymn book. So if the Lord does give me a church, there will be no question about those hymns that will be in our church hymn book will be right and correct. Won't be any of this slop. Do you realize, let me find this one more place, Acts chapter 7. Let me show you something. Acts chapter 7. And if you've got a King James Bible, please open to Acts 7. I don't, I don't think I have one here. 45 or 49. Acts 7. 45. Acts 7, 45. Now, this is one of the tactics of Satan. I believe the hymnal is a tactic of Satan. And I probably just dropped every Christian on the floor right now, and they need an ambulance. I do not agree with many of the hymns that are in the hymnal. Listen, the Bible is preserved, the King James 1611 Bible. The hymnal is not. When you got a song in there about the, the armies protecting colored people and the republic, it has nothing to do with salvation but for releasing people under bondage of slavery. That, that doesn't belong there. That's a whole different thing. I just sent more people on the floor with cardiac arrest. But let me show you a tactic that Satan uses. King James Bible. Not last week, but two weeks ago, where we have our Friday ministry, I opened three King James Bibles. And this is what they said. Acts 7.45, three King James Bibles, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Joshua into possession of the Gentiles, whom God drive out before the face of our fathers, Unto the days of David. Now, if your Bible matched what I just said, though it's King James, it is not King James. Satan sunk something into your Bible. If it says Joshua, as I read, it's not correct. Let's read what the King James says. 745 Acts, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drive out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David. If your Bible does not say Jesus, Satan has removed Jesus' name from your Bible. And I'm sorry, even if it's a King James Bible. My wife and my daughter, when they have Bibles presented to them, whether we, we want to buy them for others or they, hey, can you check out my Bible? They go to Acts 7.45. And they check the scripture. And it's only one word. It's either Jesus correctly or Joshua incorrectly. That's how subtle the Satan is. And if you are out there and you have a Bible and you say King James and it said Joshua. Look how slick Satan was. Now you gotta go out and get another Bible. Because if he messed with that verse there, where else is he gonna mess with? And just because it's in a hymnal does not mean it's perfect and right. Remember Satan removed Jesus, the name of Jesus, for Joshua? Go back and see how many hymns that we have mentioned that don't even have the name of Jesus at all. Now this one did. And I'm looking right now, I want to see. I'm looking at how many we've done so far. 
Oh, where is it? Checking. We have done, this is number 21. 21 hymns we just done. This one had Jesus in it, one. And it didn't realize to me very late into the study because I, I would have made it, you know, highlight in the in the ministry. Satan has removed Jesus from the hymns. He doesn't even put it in there at all. And even King James Bibles, Acts 745, he has removed Jesus for Joshua. I'm trying to help you out. I want you and your church to be right with God. And you can't be right if it goes against the Word of God. Now, does the Word of God say you can go out and steal? Or does it say thou shalt not steal? Now, if you go against that, you're going against the Bible. If you're going to sing something that is, listen, they even change the verses in the Bible. And we talked about that in some of the hymns. King James Bible, but the hymn you sing is not King James quoted. 